Good Wednesday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. A cold front is marching across the Gulf of Alaska, pushing away high pressure that's kept the Pacific Northwest very warm and pushing in rainfall to northern and central parts of southeast. That'll be the story of the next couple days as this front parks over southeast and gradually falls apart. But it looks like the rainfall will be sticking around to central and northern sections of southeast until it finally goes away and the next wave arrives. Looking back to the north, though, winds are gradually dying off for most of the central and western interior. A big improvement over yesterday's big wind, and same goes for south central. Now it's rain coming off the Gulf of Alaska from the west and southwest. And we'll see pockets of rain moving through many locations across south central and southwest in the coming days. And for the west coast, there's a much better chance that that precipitation is going to mix in or completely become snowfall. It looks like there is some colder air moving in off the Bering Sea, especially with the open water for many of our western communities there, and snow and rain will be a part of the rest of the week for you. Looking up toward the Kobuk and Noatak Range, some rain and snow showers expected there overnight. Uh, most areas north of the Brooks Range, though, will be drying up. You're going to see clouds. There will be some light snow across the North Slope, but by and large, a much drier but perhaps breezier situation than other parts of the central and western interior. As we look out to the west on Thursday, a new formation of low pressure will develop there west of the St. Lawrence Island, about 998 millibars. That's going to send another surge of rain and snow across the west coast into parts of Norton Sound and the Seward Peninsula. Snowfall a little more likely around the Yukon and Kuskokwim Delta, especially at around Amonic to Nunavak Island and then just west of Bethel there. Bethel, you're looking at a better chance of rain on Thursday. Rain showers on uh, Kodiak Island for Thursday, as well as places like Haines, if you scattered showers across the central and northern panhandle. As we get toward Friday, low pressure deepens as it moves southward and just west of the Pribilofs. I look for the front to work its way toward the west coast of Alaska, squeezing in a little more wind across Alaska and Dutch Harbor and moving that through the Alaska Peninsula. Watch for rain and snow showers again across many parts of South Central's higher terrain. It looks like mainly rain for the Kodiak area. Rain showers a little more heavier at times around Prince William Sound. And for the higher terrain in the Alaska range, a better chance that'll be snow with rain showers across the central and western interior and snow showers for Kotzebue Sound. With Alaska statewide weather, this is meteorologist Dave Snyder. Find us online anytime at weather.com.